Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. God is good all the time. Jambo la kwanza nataka nichukue fursa hii kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ametupatia nafasi nyingine tena ya kukutana hapa siku ya leo na wageni wetu wapendo ambao wamekuja kutembelea na kutufunza. Vile vile nataka kuchukua nafasi hii tena kuwashukuru patrons ambao wamewasili tayari pamoja na vijana kutoka pande zote ya hii parokia yetu. Kwa hivyo karibuni sana. Tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati. Kwa jina ni Simon Waweru, patron kutoka Mary Queen of Peace na vile vile patron wa parokia. Mwanzo ni wa mie tena karibuni sana kwa semina ya siku ya leo ama warsha hii. Pili kama vile ambavyo tumeelezwa kuhusu barakoa ningeshauri tu tunapoivalia tafadhali tuivalie tufunike mpaka mapua ngine tunaweka nusu tafadhali tuitumie tufunikie vile ambavyo inastahili tunaambiwa kwamba maambukizi kuanzia kwa macho mapua mdomo tatu nataka niwakaribishe wageni wetu niombe karibuni sana hapa asubukia mji wa Maria tunawita hivyo kwa sababu ndipo tuliko na National Shrine ya Maria na vile vile kwa vijana kama vile ambavyo tumeelezwa na patron kutoka St Matthew siku ya leo iwe ni siku ambayo tutaikumbuka baadaye kama siku ya sehemu hiyo nyingine ya maisha yetu you know, the beginning of the rest of my life kwa vile ambavyo tutasoma leo yawe ni mambo ambayo yatatusaidia katika maisha yetu Camelite brother and uh, just a little bit of my two others who are here we are brothers though one is a priest but we are all brothers so we have come here so that we may share with you we have come here so that we may interact and also we want you to be our friends and i believe that by the fact that you decided to come here you chose to come and listen to us and interact with us that's the first step of making friendship so we are happy to see you people i can imagine if we would have come all the way from ongatorongai Unajua Ongato Rongai ni mbali ukiwa Nairobi ukisikia unasemekana you are from Ongato Rongai wanasema you are from diaspora it feels it's very far so to come from Ongato Rongai to come here and it to, to, we were not maybe to get you it could have been a disappointment but for us the religious we would say that in case we would have not found you here we would have done our part so the disappointment is there but there is a consolation that we did our part so we are really happy that you are here and we have met you so we are glad to to be with you and to interact with you 
So today, I just thought of what I should share with you and what came to my mind. I said, let me share with you about friendship, how friends influence us, or how friends bring the best out of us. So my sharing is all about friendship and how friends influence us. Everybody has got friends. Like right now, I don't know if I say, for example, you, do you have your best friend here? Do you have your best friend here? You have? No, I don't want to. It's just a, a question that I'm popping to everyone. If you have your friend, do you have your friend here? It's a question that everybody can think about and say, I have, this is my best friend. We can have a best friend. It's not automatical that he or she should be here. Maybe he or she is not a Catholic. Maybe she's far away or he's far away from us, but he's still our best friend, isn't it? So, if you have your best friend, it's like I'm incriminating. Maybe you have friends who are not within here. But it's also a challenge that I want to pose to each one of us that as long as we're a group here, we are expecting that we'll build friendship, we'll build friends from within. Because I can imagine we are a group and we don't have friends in the group. The fact is that now that we have come together, we have a, com we have a common purpose. And this common purpose brings us together. And this is what should be the basis of our friendship and influence us. Friends are very important in a person's life. And all of us, we love to be in the company of friends. Friends make us to be energetic. They can make us to be happy or sad, our friends. It is this company of friends that we can say they mold us and even mold our character. Friends are those people who spend most of the time with us. And a big chunk of our life we spend with, with our friends. So, friends, the circle of our friends help us a lot in influencing us in our daily routines. The decisions we take, how we plan things, depend on how our, depend on the circle we have as friends. People within a friend circle will surely have something in common, planning or even in behavior. Atakuchukulia mfano of my, my own. For example, when, when I go home for holidays, the friends that I have really, I would say, decide what I, like influence what I do. For example, I'm a person who's sporty, Michezo. So you will find that the sack of my friends are people who like sports. So you will not find that Mutambaya Pendi sports being within my circle. Because like I do the chores that I have at home. And then maybe at two, my, my mind in a pig at two, tunafaa kwenda game. 
marafiki zangu wananipigia eh hey, UG ni kwa wapi twende game twende mazoezi twende so friends influencers so hata kama marafiki this marafiki wakisema Eugene twende tufanye kitu kibaya <laughs> because they are my friends i might be easily lured to do that thing what i'm simply saying is that friends influencers in our daily routine so just the same way and as npga sima niambia Eugene twende game twende mazoezi the same way kama kuna rafiki pale my inner circle there we are doing something different tuseme kwa mfano twende tujivinjari twende let's go and spoil ourselves friends will influence us and i will just join in and go so while we are making friends we need to to consider what kind of friends do we want to to make remember that in our society people look at us they see the kind of friends that we have and then they they judge us according to the friends that we have wakiona mimi natembea na huyu mwenye anavuta bangi kwa mfano inajulikana hii sako ni ya kuvuta bangi ama kukula mogo kama ni you can't tell me that mzazi akipita hapo atasema to Eugene ingawaje hii ni, ni marafiki zake he doesn't participate in kukula mogo it is it's a lie but also if it's to help you are not in the same level of friendship it's not about friendship we are just coming to help someone but when it is friendship we influence each other so i would like ourselves to ask questions the kind the kind of friendship that we have i want us to ask some few questions like four questions first the first one the friends we have when we argue when we have a disagreement how does it surely end in our friendship how does it end who in aisha aje tukiwa like tumekosana we have had a massive agreement disagreement who in aisha aje everybody ajiangalie the friends that we have when we have an agreement does do we do we still stay as friends kwa sababu mimi ningekosana na wewe and you are my friend disagreement is not does not really change how we relate so that shows how deep our friendship friendship goes beyond disagreements so if we find that we, i can say this is my friend but when we disagree on something not like tunapoteleana then that's not the friendship then that's not what we should the kind of friendship that we should cultivate life in life the, we can't say that life is all smooth that life is all sweet no there are highs and lows so the same way as in friendship there are highs and lows in friendship so we are asking during that time that we are low that time we are we can say that we have disagreed how is our friendship is it stable is it still strong so that's the question we can ask about our friendship that we have we can gauge our friendship right now by looking in case we have disagreed how is our friendship the second question that we are, i need we can ask ourselves what is the basis of a true friendship what's the basis of a true friendship uh, there is a philosopher called aristotle he says that true friendship is achieved between good people with similar virtues that's true friendship that's how we looks at friendship 
that's the basis of friendship that he looks at. Zema, it's achieved between good people with similar virtues. Looking at my own example, the one that I've said about me ni mutambaya napenda sports. And my close friends ni watambawa napenda sports. So, our basis of our friendship is how we interact and how we spend our time every time that we meet. So, let us look into our own lives and look at our, the friendship that we have. What are the basis of our friendship, Urafik Wetu, what is the basis? What's the basis of our friendship? Some of us are students. I, I want to say most of us here are students. Very few maybe in your Memaliza secondary. I don't know. So it can be the basis of your friendship is because you are schoolmates, you are classmates, but also here, we have come here together as, as young people, as Catholics, as Christians. So the basis of our friendship right now, it should be Christ has brought us together. That is the basis of our, the friendship that we are creating here. Let us also ask, who is a close friend? Who is a close friend? I would say a close friend is someone whom you share everything. You can, you can open your heart out to that person. I mean, you open up yourself to that person and that person does not judge you. There are friends that if you, if you open up to them, it's like you are opening up for to be judged. Everybody has got weaknesses. Everybody has something that is struggling about to let go or to do away with. Just being there might be this friend at a, at a same chochote, but maybe I just need that time I can open up. I just speak out whatever that is in my heart. And to have that friend and buy an akuskiza too, who listens to you. Maybe that's the only thing that I wanted, someone being there to listen to me. When as a kua, the friend doesn't have anything to tell you, but I'm a kuskiza. So the same way, as much as we want friends, let us also look at how are we friends to others. Might be some of us, we know the secrets. People open up to us. How do we, how do we carry that information? How do we carry that information? So if we're a close friend to someone, we need, we need really to know how to tread carefully. Because who would make trust? A close friend is someone who really trusts you. So we shouldn't betray that trust in your muta metu, metu pair. It's like a seal. You are my friend. Let it not get out of. I would say it's only about you and that person. A close friend is someone who stays by your side in times of needs and wishes, and wishes you well. There is always a time that we can say we are low. Kuna marafiki wengine wakisikia uko kwa shida. Ah, ni kama wamekutoka. They are only friends to you when it is all is well, all is roses. Or even sometimes we are friends to other people only when life is good, when it's all beautiful. When 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 they fall to say me wamejipata kwa shida like tunatoweka is is that really a close friend mutambana kutoka at your lowest time no so 
we gauge our friends by looking at our lowest times. Wakatambautuko, we feel low. That's the time we can say, ah, Eugene is my best friend. During, because after someone has gone past the lowest time or hardest time, that's when I can now think and say, oh, Eugene was, Eugene is truly my friend because he was there at my lowest time. So, looking still about friendship, another question that we can look or we can gauge our friendship is what are the traits what are the traits of good friendship? What are the traits of good friendship? First, I will point loyalty. Loyalty. Can you promise someone that you promise someone that way? It can be, even in our families, to mezalua wengi. Say we are, we are, I want to take my own example, we are five in our family. But not all of them, they are all my friends. By blood we are brothers and sisters. But there is an effort that I have to make, or they have to make to be my friend. Kuzalua na mtu pamoja, is not a is not enough reason to say that you are friends. See, we have brothers, we have sisters at home. Lazimu make effort to kuonyesha na kwamba mi ni rafiki wako ata kama tumezaliwa pamoja. Even with the, with our parents, tutakuwa tumezaliwa wazazi wetu ametuzaa ndio. But ndio wakuwa marafiki there is something that we need to do to create that friendship. Sindio? Because I'm talking this out of experience that friendship you have to build, you have to you have to you have to work on it. But it's all about I know how to build that friendship. Nani meju how to how to create that friendship. So all of us also Friendship, we need to build, we have to work on it. And it starts from the, from the, right from at home. When some charity begins at home. It begins at home. So from our homes there, let us start first to create friends from our homes. Let's start creating friends first from our homes. There are even our brothers and sisters who are really in need. But... Tumetoka tu. Yanu na muka subu na kanyaga tu naenda zaku. But you have not realized that your little sister or your little brother needs you. So not unless we realize ya kwamba, we need to start this friendship from home and build. Then there is no need for us to go and look friendships outside there. And yet at home there we have not built our friendship. So the first I would, the first trait in Mesema is loyalty. Ile loyalty wa kusema, Mimi, I will be there for you. My brother will be there for you. My sister, dad and mama will be there for you. That is loyalty. Despite what the whole world be, can be against you. You can only be two and say, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. So, like, Jesus is, I would say, is the best example of we can say, I'm quite loyal to us. No, we are all sinners. And at our lowest, he still died for us. That's, that's how we should also build our friendship, loyalty. At someone's lo See, at the moment, that's a, a cochina, a, 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 now we give up. When someone is at law, that's when that person needs us most. That's when we can say there is loyalty. So the first trait I would say is loyalty. The second trait is trust. Trust. 
trust can trust just does not just come by the way that mean me trust kama rafiki does not just come from from the blue you have to prove that i can trust you or you can be trusted the people who the moment a meskiza hapa yani meingilia hapa inatoka kwa mdomo ikienda ni ni ku wamesikia hivi ni kurusha kusikia hivi ni kurusha that is not a good trait of of a good friend or true friendship because the moment someone speaks out to you i may could trust so that what has been spoken to you should remain within you yani it's like in your heart in your heart it's like mtu amekwambia even if people out there are speaking about your friend saying ah this one is with this one. but you in your heart you truly know that this is not Eugene this is not who he is you don't need to prove to the world ya kwamba this is otherwise this is the story about this person no but in your heart you know the truth na has opened up to you this person ambaye amekuelezea will stay with that truth ya kwamba he trusts you or she trusts you because whatever has open, he or she has opened to you it has stayed with you so i would say even let us look at some of the things about this to manage our friends we are still growing some of us will have an experience that people will open up to us it's good that we have had an opportunity that we are we are sharing that whatever someone shares to you it shows that someone trusts you we should not break that trust if you want to open up to someone you should know we cannot open up to everybody another trait is honesty 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 i would say is a friend will tell you will not pamper you with the lies waambie ah this is what i'm going through alafu atako will will be, because this is ni marafiki won't tell you the truth no a, a, a true friend and a good friendship that person will tell you the truth a, a good friend is is a second thought for you a second set of eyes for you a second mind for you so like i want to do this my close friend and my true friend will say Eugene that's a good thing to do atani encourage atani ambia it is true it's good also a good friend will say this is not good for you another trait is dependability dependability come when we we are in need of help when we are in need of help i would give an example when i go home since i joined religious since i joined i wanted this i wanted to be a priest that was i would say 2010 since 2010 for around 5 or 6 years nikaenda nyumbani my home place is busia so for me nikitoka hapo nikitoka Nairobi niende mpaka Malaba that's who, that's at the border there that's where to say mezi coach nafika and then i have to pick motorbike yenye nanipeleka mpaka nyumbani for around 5 or 6 years nimekuwa na boda boda moja tu ambaye he has journeyed with me ni, ni 
hata nifike like sometimes naweza toka na rubna tunafika hapo late unafika malaba hapo unasema boda boda wengine nasema ah unaenda wapi it's, it's a long distance mali naenda so boda boda nakwambia ai huko atwezi and lakini naweza piga sacrifice sacrifice unasikia sacrifice mali tunafaa kwa kawaida kulipa mia mbili ananiambia you have to give me 1000 because ni usiku you see so huyu ni mtu anafanya anafanya biashara it's true it is risky it's at night but i have this boda is married the rare occasions nimemchukua at night ayana amekuja kunchukua at night the wife even says that eh where eugene wewe oh, ushukuru sana you have this person ambaye every time ana when you are stuck somewhere na kukujia so that is one way i can point out at dependability yani this person has been with me at when i need most ana nikujia not only that during when when all is well ndio ananitokea hapana even at my lowest time ana nikuje that is dependability hmm. our friends that we have can we count on them to say this is my friend we are really i can depend on that friend some of us here are, are students and uko shule hapo unasema ni rafiki wako lakini kukusaidia mambo ya shule ni bala anataka tu apite peke yake or oh, even some of us we, we have people we can say they are friends they are, they are friends but ucho yetuko nayo ni Mungu tu ndiye anafaa ondoe so looking at these traits we can say that our friends affect our future we are we are young people still growing so the friends that we have right now influence us influence our future and one way we can point out how friends influence our future is that friends affect the way we think and the way we feel about ourselves friends friends watafanya they really influence vile sisi tunafikiria na vile sisi tunajihisi about who we are or about ourselves so let us look how are you how are our friends looking at us wanatuona aje wanafikiria about us aje because after a period of time how our friends look at us and how they think about us will have a strong influence on how we look ourselves the perception about ourselves i would take an example of i i want to be i want to be i want to be a priest and my friends my friends the way they look at me ni friends watasema ah uh, Eugene ah uh, wewe sio mtu wewe sio mtu wa kuo you cannot be a priest you cannot be a priest you know what what will be the end result sintaanza pia kujifikiria nasema ah really can i make it can i be no because at the end of it all to be a priest for example is not okay nimeodeniwa leo then i have all is all is done no it's a lifetime decision you make every day i have to live this decision in me make so if my friends look at me and say where is you mtu you cannot make it at the end of it all I can I will it it's most likely I will not make it. If my friends look at me as in Eugene you can do it. 
and they they tell me you know it's something that ideally is in my mind yenye mimi nataka kukua na marafiki zangu niambie Eugene unaweza ukakua they are like they are pumping me up to say yes Eugene you can i go through difficult time I say no that's part of the, that's part of life go on at the end of it all i will make it proverbs 13:20 That's the word of God. Every day I have to make a decision. The kind of friends that I have, the kind of friendship that I need. It says, those who work in the company of, of wise, I would say, in a careful company, those people are safe. but the company of the foolish we know who is the source of wisdom god himself god is the source of wisdom and ujinga <laughs> ujinga <laughs> there is kuna ujinga pia dunia hii mob sana but we are the ones who choose what do we want to associate ourselves we know where wisdom will be found we know where foolishness is if you decide to follow the directions of of the world then push the foolishness is your portion following christ being being a committed christian and letting god in our lives is i would say or even the word of god says is wisdom because as it is said that fear of god is the beginning of wisdom and understanding marks them all so accepting to come here to converge together as young people in church is the beginning of wisdom we have not just come here for for our own things it is christ who has brought us together here and i believe he's in our midst that is what he promised we started with the prayer he's in our midst So every time we pray we let God say God bring in my life people who infl- who will better my life but a foolish person won't even know that or would not even admit to say that it is God who can bring someone in my life who can influence me to be a better person we might be even stagnated in life right now and you may come to you you fanye nini some of us may be the students we are still learning but what about when you when you are done with secondary school you are done with secondary school it can be ya kwamba mwingine atapita mwingine atapita sana mwingine unapata tu like sasa like umekwama now it's the time to make a choice if we associate with people who are like they are also amekwama we will be stuck forever but if we associate with friends all the friends that we have are people like can can take the best in us then we will have to move we will move to, to greater heights if we move with people of strength faith people who make us better persons people who can see the the best gifts in us 
people who can correct us in a loving way, in a constructive way, then we can never be stagnated in life. I would say it's better to be it's better to be alone than to be in a wrong company. What what is the, what is the need of being in a wrong company? What is the benefit? It's just destruction. So it can be the friends that we have with just a single conversation our lives changes than even if I would even you can have many years of study but you, you don't change but a friend can just have a, a small talk with you but our lives changes forever I would also read from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 to 10, and then verse 12. Two are better than one, because they have a good reward for their toil. For if they fall, one will lift up his self. But woe to him who is alone. When he falls, as not another to meet with her. Verse 12. And though a man might prevail against one who is alone, two will withstand him. A threefold cord is not to be Yes. The people we surround ourselves, it's like we enter into an agreement. The word of God says two are better than better than one. We are stronger. If you have a friend can lift you up when you are fallen. But if you don't have a friend, considering the, what we have talked about what kind of friend, the, the, the traits we can say this is a good friend. When we lack a friend, when we fall, we will, we will continue being down there. Nobody will help us. So being here, let's look at the friends that we have. Let us maybe have a new beginning. Let us refresh our friendships the kind of friends that we have so that our lives may be better. Sometimes when I talk or even when I listen to some conversations, the people would call them the average. The average. Even if you say, ah, me bora tu bora tu ni pite bora tu ni ni achana na e bora tu ni achana na e ni pate de mine a ntakuwa ntakuwa sao kuna marifu kwa kuiva ah yani yani average tu bora tu bora tu if you if you associate with such kind of friends you know being average it becomes like wow okay help you e upate d minor oh watu wana yani your friends wana sema oh yeah <laughs> that is they have taken average to be to be outstanding is that are those kind of friends that we really need let us look at our close associates because if our friends are average in a point, oh, it's an indicator of where we are heading. We will always be average in, in our doing. So, given the many different ways 
our friendships affect us, it is very important to be intentional while, while choosing friends. The question that we need to ask when we are choosing friends, does this person have qualities that we are looking for in a friend? How are they going to influence our life? Maybe we can gauge the same in the next one year, in the next five years, in the next 10 years, when we choose friends, how are they going to influence us? And if what they are going to influence us to be, if is it where we want to be by that time? Or is it where we want to be by that time? So when you are making plans to get together with friends, let us look what kind of future we want to build. Let's look at what kind of future we want to build because the friends walk with us, journey with us, and influence and help us build our future. So. With that, I mark my, my sharing with you. If there's anyone who wants to make a comment, wants to ask a question, 